I do. Guess what I've got on my head. No, this isn't really a Halloween mask. This is a different kind of mask altogether. Because today, and maybe for a couple of days, we're going to be talking about Indians. You know, Indians have a lot of customs, a lot of strange customs. Well, we think they were strange now, but they were all right then. And, well, maybe you know some of them, and maybe you don't. But, you know, they really respected and perhaps, well, they worshipped some things that they called their gods. They worshipped the sun and the stars and the moon and the water and the rain and fire and ever so many things. Because they figured that these things, for instance, the sun. Now, the sun would help them grow all of their vegetables and their corn and things. And they worshipped the rain because the rain helped them grow, too. And they worshipped the fire because they were afraid of fire. And they thought that, well, they thought that maybe if they made a god out of the fire, and then they worshipped him and gave, well, ceremonies or big parties for him, that maybe the fire would stay away from their huts and their teepees and their wigwams. And so that, those are some of the reasons why they gave these great big celebrations or big parties for these different gods. And sometimes they made great big masks like this one that you just saw. Now this one is a great big ugly one, isn't it? Well now you'd think that if they were giving a party for someone that they'd have happy masks, wouldn't you? Well, sometimes they did. Some of their masks were very, very happy. And, but then some of them were ugly like this one. Do you know why? Well, you know, today we have spooky things like ghosts and goblins, don't we? We know that there really aren't any, and yet we just like to pretend. Well, the Indians thought that there were evil spirits, which are something like ghosts and goblins. They really don't exist. And they used to think that these spirits would come to the parties that they were giving for their various gods and their various celebrations, and they were afraid that if the evil spirits would come, that then the sun god or the rain god or the fire god wouldn't come to their big party. And so they wanted to chase these evil spirits away. So sometimes they made great big ugly masks like this, and they all put them over their heads, and then they thought that if the evil spirits would come to their party, they would see these terrible looking faces and it would frighten them and they would run away. So that's why sometimes they made ugly looking masks. And you know what they made them out of? Now this one here, like the one that we're going to make today, is just out of a plain ordinary paper sack. Of course they didn't have paper sacks then, so they had to make them out of other things. Sometimes they got great big pieces of wood and they hollowed out the inside by chipping it away with a knife sometimes and just as pieces of stone. And then when they got it all hollowed out, they cut holes in it for the eyes. And sometimes they put regular round pieces of wood in the little holes that they made for the eyes and put strings on them. And the strings hung down at the sides of the masks. And if they pulled on these strings, the eyes would close and then they would open and then they would close and then they would open. Sometimes they could even move them back and forth like that. But these were usually made out of wood. And then, of course, when they got all the wood all carved out and all hollowed out, then they painted it with all sorts of bright different colors. You know, sometimes Indians put paint on their own faces, didn't they? Well, you know, if you have a paper sack, a great big one, one that will very easily go over your head, and some color crayons, and perhaps a piece of newspaper, and some paste, and some scissors, of course, then we could make a great big ceremonial mask right now. And you know, pretty soon, will be playing outside all the time, and I'll bet you'll probably be playing Indians outside, too. So these masks, you can wear in the house to play Indians and outside, too. Maybe you could scare some of your friends, you suppose. Or you could even play Guess Who's Under the Paper Sack of the Indian Mask. That's another good one. So I'm going to dump all my crayons out right here, and then I have a paper sack, another one. I'll just lay this one, the one that's already made right down here. We might want to look at it a little bit later. Here's a great big paper sack. And I'll show you. It goes right over my head. See? So that I know it's big enough, but you know, it's almost too big. Because look, I can only pull it down to my shoulders, can't I? And look how far above my head it goes. Way up there. Well, we don't need all that up there, do we? So you know how we can get it off? You know how we can tell just exactly how much to cut off of this paper sack? 
We can do it just like this. We can put the paper sack right here at the top of our head. And then with a crayon or a pencil, we can draw a line right on the paper sack right here, just right next to our chin. There. And that's where we're going to cut the sack off because then we won't need all the rest of this. Let's cut off the part that we won't need. We won't even have to draw a line where we can just cut right straight across there. There we are. And now the paper sack's just about the right size, isn't it? Well, now the next thing that we have to do is to make two holes in the front of the sack so that we can see through it. Well, now, if I drew a circle here and one over here and put it on, I don't think I'd be able to see because, look, there was a, my eye runs down here, and if there was a hole over there, I couldn't very well see out of it, could I? So I'll tell you what we're going to do so that we can know just exactly where to cut the holes for the eye. We'll put the sacks over our head, and then we'll feel with our fingers right through the paper, and when you can touch your eye through the paper, then we'll take a crayon and make a little mark right there, and the same way with the other one. Are you ready to do that now? All right, let's put the sack on then and feel for our eye and then put a mark there. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. There. Did you get yours done? See, there's a little circle there and one right there. And then maybe it'd be best for us to lay the sack down and make these circles a little bit darker and perhaps a little bit larger. You suppose? How about that? We don't want them too big, though. That's about big enough right there. And there's another one. Then we can cut these out and we can cut them out right now before we do any drawing or any decorating or any coloring on there. So just stick scissors right through. Be careful of your fingers, though. See why I'm holding the paper is way over here. Just do this one end. Slide around it. Down we go. And there's one cut out. See? Now we'll go to the next one. Through the back. Around we go. right out of there. And then we'll have to try it on, of course, and see whether or not it fits and see if we really can see right through these two holes in the sack. So let's put them on again, because if it doesn't fit and if we can't see through, then we might have to make the holes just a little bit bigger. Let's try it on. And I'll see if I can see you and you see if you can see me. There. I can see you. Can you see me? Huh? Okay, then. If it wasn't big enough, remember, all you have to do is just make the circle just a little bit bigger. But now then, we want to make a great big face on there, and you can decide whether or not you want to make a happy face to entertain the... What do we have the party for? The sun god? All right, we'll have the party for the sun god, and we'll pretend that we're India. We're going to have a party for a sun god, and you can either make a happy face to entertain the sun god, or you can make a great big ugly one to scare away the evil spirits that might come. So let's see, what should we make first? How about the eyes? You know, these little holes are all right, but let's make great big eyes right in the middle, shall we? Let's see, what color should I use for eyes? I think I'll take a blue one and have great big blue eyes right around there like that. There we are. And then we can color them all in. And you know it won't hurt any if you color right through that hole that we cut in the paper because when we put the sack over our head, we won't be able to see that anyway. And we'll just put some glue all over these eyes. There's one almost done, and then the other one. We want to save some room, though, so we can put some more paint on this mask, too. Suppose we'd better put eyelashes on these eyes, even with, whether it's an ugly one or whether it's a, a happy one. Let's do that. I'm going to make mine black. Let's see. Where's that black crayon? Here it is. Go right around here like that. And then 
big, pick up eyelashes on it. And then the other eye. And big, pick up eyelashes on this one, too. How about eyebrows? You know, when someone's looking ugly or mean, their eyebrows come way down in the middle, just like a great big frown. That's what kind of eyebrows this masked man is going to get. Color them all in with a big black crayon. There. Better have two of them, though, don't you suppose? Oh, a funky drawing sometimes on each other's back, isn't it? There. Let's just color that one in, too. All over black. Now then, I suppose we better put a nose on, don't you think? How about a great big red one? That's what color I'm going to have. Great big red nose. Right there. I'm going to color it all in. And then, you know, I'm going to cut some of it out and see whether or not the nose will wiggle up and down after I finish my mask and can put it on. And then we need some great big black teeth, don't we? And since this is going to be an ugly one, I'm going to put a great big ugly old mouth on it. And his mouth's going to turn down at the corners like that. And then I'm going to have great big teeth in it. Ooh, is he going to be ugly? I wonder whether yours will be uglier than mine. And a line that runs across there. And I think I'll blacken out his face right here. This poor little masked man has lost a tooth. Maybe he's lost one down here, too. There we are. Should we black out another one over here? Okay. We can put another line around his mouth if we want to. This can be his lips. There, now I want to take some bright reds and yellows and greens and put all kinds of marks over here. See? You? There. Maybe we ought to have some Indian signs, or maybe we'll put an arrow on the end, something like this. Because Indian signs sometimes had arrows with them, didn't they? These can be little bitty arrows there. There we go. Now let's put it on and see what we have. Let's see how we look, okay? All right, you put yours on and I'll put mine on. And then we'll see just how we look. Ooh, isn't that awful? I hope you've had fun making your Indian mask.